this is Ashley Gaska. Today, I'm going to share some recommendations I have for you when it comes to organizing your assignments for dual diploma. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is that I would create a folder on your desktop, on your computer, for your dual diploma assignments, where all of your assignments would be saved. So I'm going to right click on the desktop, and then I'm going to put new, and I'm gonna click on folder, and then I'm going to call this, and I'm going to start with the year, because if you're in this program, you know it lasts a few years, and you'll want to know where to find your assignments specifically for this school year. So 2022 to 2023, uh, and I'm going to put dual, diploma assignments. So now, whenever I have an assignment, I'm going to save it in that folder. Now, that will help me when I go to turn in my assignment because it will make it easier to find where I saved it. As a bonus, I'm also going to show you how you should be naming your documents for better organization and because it's what we expect of you in our program. So this is my assignment. I'm going to go to file, save as, and then I'm going to go to this PC. And I don't want to be in the documents folder. I want to be on the desktop because that's where I put my new folder, which is right here. And now I'm going to give it a name. So the standard protocol is to start with the year, then your last name, so my last name is Gaska, then your first name, my first name is Ashley, then the class you're in, say I'm in English 2 for example, and then the assignment number. Let's say it's assignment 4.11. Then I'm going to click on save. So now when I go to that assignment, it's right there. Also, you want to make sure that the assignments you submit are in one of the accepted formats, whether that's as a .doc, .docx, .pdf, .powerpoint. It must be one of the accepted, accepted formats. So, when I go to submit, I know which assignment to submit because I've labeled it properly. Now, another recommendation that I have is when you go to work on this assignment, until it's finished, I highly recommend adding draft to the name. So I'll show you what I mean. I would add draft in all caps like that. So now when I go to my folder, it has the assignment and then it has the draft. The draft is the one that I'm still working on that's not complete. When I finish the assignment, I'm going to save it again, but I'm going to take away the name draft, and then it's going to ask if I want to save over the existing file. I click yes, or if there is no existing file, then it won't say that. But that's the best way to make sure you don't accidentally submit an incomplete assignment. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching. And